morning YouTube this is Felicia with Bible scraps and I have a organizational tip for you guys for your paper scraps okay so I used to save all of my paper scraps up until recently well actually I've been back and forth throughout the years I'll save my paper scraps and then I'll just get so many scraps I'll end up throwing it out or if I can give it away right now I'm not saving my paper scraps except for those collections and I'm sure you guys have those collections. You just can't part with any of the, the pieces that you have left over. Okay, so you're looking at a Kaiser craft set called Teddy Bear Picnic. And that's one of those collections. I could not get rid of these pieces and these scraps after my completed projects. So this is my tip for you guys. And I've been using this system for a while but I'm just coming back to it now. Get you a sheet protector or an album page. Any size will work depending on what system you wanna work with. And put those pieces inside that protector or that album page. As you can see here, I have die cuts that I um, have used with this collection. And you do that and then if you use, this is a 12 by 12 size page protector, you can get an album like this. It's a three ring binder album and it fits perfectly in here. So you can have a whole album dedicated to um, scraps that you have left over. And this particular album will hold a lot of these sheet protectors. Many of you may be using this system already I'm coming back to it. I think it's wonderful because you can have all your scraps in, in one place. Once again, you can use different sizes. And if you don't have an album, if you have a storage box that will um, fit whatever size protector or sheet that you use, go ahead and use that. Well, you guys have a blessed day.